pays off when someone has skills across the board. But uh, it's better to have fundamentals and, and well-rounded. Being able to know the fundamentals but program in many languages is, would be a plus. Once we do get the idea and we learn how to put that together with the tools, we can make it, make it in real life. Where does sculpture go next? Like right now, there's, there's people trying to build what they call haptic interfaces to 3D software. So I put on like a glove and, 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 as I, and I'm literally sculpting on, on the computer screen and I get feedback into my fingers on what things feel like. We have the Adobe Suite, which is now moving to the cloud. <laughs> For designers, um, we uh, tend to use the uh, Adobe Suite of products, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop. Uh, an awful lot of work is designed in Photoshop, or if not, then Illustrator. If I'm connected, I have access to I have access to the world. Learning how to program didn't start off as wanting to learn all of computer science or um, or trying to master this discipline or anything like that. It just started off because I wanted to do this one simple thing. I wanted to make something that was fun for myself and, and my sisters. Tough gig, you know. Internet help this. I figure you got four essential services in our society. You got your police, your fire, your ambulance, internet help desk. In these specialized times, is it possible to create a kind of network of uh, labs where we encourage this um, and we support uh, uh, this sort of fundamental creative process that's very hard to institutionalize? I've always been on the change is good, even when it's bad. So um, keep going forward. <laughs>